always new stars on the Motor City horizon. Two of Detroit's high-performance models are Steve Smith of the Heat and Derek Coleman of the Nets. These two are on the rise and taking their teams with them. While Steve and Derek are enemies on the court, they're really hometown friends. Hey, Steve! Come on, you get some of this, all right? I caught up with Steve and Derek at one of their favorite places, an antique auto dealer back home in Motown. Now, when did you guys become friends? We, we knew, knew each other from... When you were kids, you knew each yeah, other? Yeah. So when did you first meet? I'm um, playing at the gym on Woodward and Belmont. We always used to go play on the weekends, and um, that's when we first met. I mean, but we always, our high schools were like rivals all the time. We always knew each other, but it was that rival thing. That rivalry drew them together, even though they lived in different parts of the city when they were kids. Steve was playing for Pershing High School, while Derek played at Northern High. And both of them learned a lot about toughness in the rugged neighborhoods of Detroit. What was it like growing up in Detroit? Rough. It's an environment where you have to survive, you know what I mean, just become a strong person to get out of it. Yeah, I think also you have to have a good family background. I think with me and Steve, we, we definitely have, um, you know, our family behind us. I mean, I can go over to his house and eat any time. He comes to my house, it's like me and, you know, brothers. You know, and they, each of our families accept one another. Growing up in the Motor City, it's natural they'd be interested in cars. What's unusual is their taste in cars. They both collect models dating back to the 1950s. Like Bonnie and Clyde. Bonnie and Clyde. You know, all on the running boy. After looking around a while, we got the urge to get out on the open road. I'm riding in your car. All right, now, who started collecting cars first? Well, Steve always said, well, whenever I get some money, whenever I make it or whatever have you, he wanted the Volkswagon. I don't oh, know really? why he got a Bonneville now. <laughs> he always like, I'm going to get a Volkswagen. I'm I always want a Volkswagen. Volkswagen, but I try to get one. I can't fit in it. <laughs> Steve has no problem fitting into this 62 Bonneville with its roomy bucket seats, while Derek has a 57 Buick, which is still in great condition. When it comes to vintage cars, these guys are experts. Now, you're really involved in all these details, aren't you? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, it's something I've been learning, learning a lot about cars, learning about the past also with the car, you know, everything that went on in 62 and the surroundings. I'm going back to the past. Yes, yes, yes. yes. On a Sunday afternoon. This is not Detroit, it's the suburbs. After cruising through the suburbs, it was back to Detroit, the place where it all began for Steve and Derek. And though their friendship may have a lot of mileage on it, it's still running just as smooth as ever. Personality-wise, they're kind of like the odd couple. Away from the court, Steve's on the quiet side, while Derek's brash and cocky, but they've hit it off from the beginning. Usually, uh, cars are an extension of your personality. Uh -huh. Do they both like the same kind of cars? Steve, well, Steve is more concerned about the details, preserving history of the cars, and Derek just wants them to look right. Did, did they let you drive? 